And this is where <clears throat> it kind of sucks a little bit. You have to play it like a discard. Um, you know, play it on three with two mana open. And then if he does nothing, we mastermind in. And we're we're going to feel good, you know, turn four. So I also could pump this, but actually putting another fairy out. Is, uh, um, yeah, I'll just grab Island. Fairy Mastermind. So. And I'm okay with him killing this. Like, being tapped out next turn, that's fine. See, he chooses to kill the Mastermind. Instead of this. Because he just can't. So, what is that? X. Okay. I wonder if... Hmm, him gaining life. I wonder if that matters. <clears throat> Should've got... Ah, uh, that stinks. Um, okay. So I might have to get... You might have to get two Watery Graves, like, quicker. Um, because we don't want to... I would much rather throw down the Sleepy here. So you might... I might have to be a little bit more painful on my land choices. Which is okay, but... Lesson learned. Um, I could, could just snap, but so and now. Oh, I probably should have pumped the fairy. <clears throat> it's gonna be a little rough to get used to how to play this. So I should hit him for three here. Okay, so technically at 19. It's just a different way to play fairies. Sprite? Uh, sure. So we just go ahead and take care of this. Yes, cast your other sprite. Do it. Do it. We're okay with this. Like. Like, even if he wins that war, we have a 3-3, three, three. he has two 1-1s. One, like. Sure. Probably what he should have done in the first place is just sack it. Alright, cool. So I can do 6 here. He's technically at 20. Because I missed that attack. So we're, we're sitting pretty good even though we missed the attack. So I should have 2 Curse Fairies out. Because I misplayed. I think we just ride this. See, it's so different because we can just ride this Curse Fairy out. Um, don't even have to rush it. Just... So we'll make him pay the two and then counter it, basically. <laughs> so 
it. And actually, we're going to Snapcaster Mage. And we're going to hit Counterspell. And we know sleep sleepy's good. He might he might fatal push the snapcaster. It's alright. We'll just pitch sleep curse fairy to subtlety. Oh, we can't, so alright, it dies. Cool. I mean, but he just spent five to get rid of the screen on his turn, you know. Sure. He has one card in hand, so I think we can go ahead and play the other Sleepy. Um, like, this other Sleepy should have just been in play earlier, but I, mis I misplayed, so... Greetings. How are you? Well, I'm glad you made it to the stream. So he's fallen shinobing. Cool. <sighs> we just bounce it. That's all we do. So, yep. Bye bye. So we're so <clears throat> yep. Okay, better walk. So he's playing like vampiric rights, like it's gonna do something for him. So the bitter blossom is kind of problematic a little bit. But... but he's gonna find out that. He's not tempo enough. So we're we're gonna be slower than normal. So he does have blockers for days now though. And he got flooded, so Yep. And do I want him to have this or not? Like it does have lifelink, so I think. Uh, yeah, we'll probably just counter it. Because I really don't want him to get it back to kill something else. So. Uh, yeah. So in this war, we're just going to overwhelm them and go ahead and add to our board. He only has one card in hand. So we can... I could tar pit. So, I think we just go ahead and attack into this. So, he's technically winning. So, this uh, this trade. But once we get the 3-3 online, we're happy. 
we're totally cool with trading this. Because next turn we'll have basically 9 damage on board. We'll have the Borrower plus uh, either the Subtlety or the Tar Pit and that Sleepy. So, okay, never mind. Um, because I can do both now, right? I can tap this. Yeah. He'll allow me to... Yep. How about we just go ahead and cast this? It's giving me free spells. I'm gonna have to maybe him the three through there is better. So he's casting this, of course. So you can push it on top or bottom. Put it on top, so he wants to play it next turn. Which I could leave the borrower back. But he can't he has to block, so he won't have a creature. Yeah, he will know. And that's I don't think there's anything in my deck that really hurts me for him to cast. Okay, we can do this. So wait, what? Why didn't it whatever? I have to remember to untap this thing, so we'll just attack with everything. He has to block. So we know what he's going to play, so <clears throat> let's see. What we have to do is, if he enters combat, because we know what he's drawing. If he enters combat, we just, uh, we probably just kill this. Because he can replay, yeah. There is a slight chance, oh no, he can't do that. Alright, we'll let it go, and then we'll just kill the, uh, Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll just kill it. Yeah, no blocks. Wow, what do you know? I love this card too. I love Fallen Shinobi. Um, I don't think this might not be the right meta for it. Um, it might be, but I don't think uh, Village Rights is where it needs to be. He's going to sack this thing probably. I'm guessing. I mean, he's gaining a life, like, so he's going to put... He'll have blockers, but he'll die in two turns before he's able to do anything and turn the corner. So he basically makes my spot removal worthless. Um, so I need to put Edicts in. Because this makes my spot removal worthless. Yeah, he's trying to do this... Bitter Blossom forever kind of thing. It's not... You don't want... It's too mana intense. So this game should have been law over a long time ago because I missed an attack step with this. So this would have been gone. Like, would have been gone. So the cool thing is if he does attack or something with this, I can just untap my Sleepy here. Like, if this thing sticks, it it's putting pressure on him. As a bitter blossom would, you know, he only has two more turns to live. So, so I understand why he's doing it. I understand, you know, Vincer. Okay, he's gonna bounce something. 
Yeah, pay it. So, but I can just replay it. <clears throat> and then, so on my upkeep, sure. Yeah, balance it to my hand. And that sucks, like, later in the game. So, something was removed. Well, he doesn't know he did this, but... And this is where probably, well, fairy fencing is not that good here. It's okay. So... Go and put that back down, and then we'll attack. I mean, he, he's... I think he's out of options here. Because he has to block, so he doesn't have... He doesn't have a creature to be able to do anything. So he wants to, like, he's trying to play this game um, to where he can bitter blossom forever. And that's just not how you win with fairies. Like, it's a good idea in the sense of you will extend the game. Sure, you have blockers for days. Um, like, right now, he'll constantly be at two life, but two creatures. Like, Two creatures like make this just dumb. So, and then I take one and sell one, so yeah. Alright. So, we just have to play. Uh, play the mirror. So edict's really good. Um, Dolphy is good on the draw. So sleepy might be bad just on the draw in general. So we're gonna take one of those out. Spot removal is like this eh, kind of wishy-washy area now. Because Sleep Purse Fairy might not be the best, so I can take one of them out, I guess. And, uh... Hmm. Not sure. Maybe the subtlety probably goes away. It's good later, though good because it can it trades and wins um, fencing is legit though I, I don't want to get rid of it and I don't want to stay here with seven like a bunch of cards in my hand maybe maybe the Dolphies don't come in I think that's just the answer and then these don't they're not amazing we can go with this bring in the ease and the force negations we're cool with this we are happy here So the worst part about this game is possible bitter blossom war that we will end up winning. So we're not we're not bad about that. Not sad at all. Yep. So we see a black, so we could force a negation this, um, but we're just going to slam Blossom like it's our job, because it is our job. So 
So his, uh, the cards that he's playing, like, is, they just aren't as efficient, effective as ours. So, um, so he's constantly going to be behind um, this entire game, most likely. So... question is, is do I go ahead and do that? Um, we don't really care about this, but I want to get rid of it. <clears throat> but I want to add to my board, I think, too, and then hold up Counterspell. But he has nothing in his graveyard, so <clears throat> it's kind of rough. You have to treat this really weird. You have to play it in weird places. And So I think I want to clear. I want to clear this first. Um, and I think I'm just going to overwhelm him with another bitter blossom. I think we're going to play this game. I haven't done this in a very long time, um, but you know what they always say: uh, two bitter blossoms are better than one. So. Sometimes double bitter blossom hurts you, um, and there's other matchups that it will just uh, crush your opponent. Basically, so having two blossoms out. If he counters with another blossom, we're still winning, and he'll will win. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a fan of it too, honestly. It, but there's just some matchups that you shouldn't do it with. <laughs> shouldn't do it in at all, ever. Um, and he's seeing the pressure right now. Like, we haven't even played spells yet. Um, he's feeling the pressure of the double. Okay, so he's playing this Flash variant, the Rogues. Playing this before I can untap and do something. That's fine. And unbeknownst to him, I have this. My hand did not a counter spell, so. Alright. We do that. We'll play Curse Fairy. He must have no interaction. That's what this really means. This doesn't have flying, so we don't really care about it. So we just press the attack here. We also could take a turn off, but we're not going to. Yep, we expect a block. And he's going to be very... He has to be very defensive. He doesn't have a choice here. He has to be defensive. This entire... Uh, this entire game, until he... Until he matches my aggression with another bit of awesome, he will, he will constantly be behind. So, because now I can... I can block attack every time, and while in two turns or three turns, I'll be able to get this. So keep mastermind if I want to, but we—it's important not to. Uh, it's important not to uh, take unnecessary damage when you have two blossoms going. So because this equates this two damage equates to eternal life that we. Like, our, our play still has to be very tight. So, and we're gonna... If he plays anything here, we opt. If he doesn't play it, we opt. So, end of his, we opt. We see what we get. We can only counter things up to one. So, I can actually kill the token, but I'll probably withhold. I really want to see a sprite. The land's fine, too. The fifth land's good. So, I think the... I think we take a. Because he probably. He might have a removal. So we'll just. We'll just take it. We're going to play this because I want to see how it plays out. Yeah, we're fine with that. Okay, so he's bouncing a wall. That's okay. We're okay with that. He just saves me a life, basically. We'll go ahead and kill that. 
So when he plays the borrower, um, we just have something to counter. So we don't replay the blossom here. Um, we've already established ourselves to be dominant. So. So, in this case, we uh, just stun counter. I think we. So I think the thing is, is he can actually kill this. I I have enough mana to where I can just let this kind of go. I think. Hmm. I'm gonna untap. I just want to see him. Mm-hmm. Because he'll be tapped out now. So I want to see if I can stay ahead here. Because I can just... If I force negation, sure. Hmm. I want to see if that's... If I have to protect this at all costs, or if it's worth me just not doing that. Yep, he'll block. Um... We play the Blossom here to gain advantage again. Tar Pit in this matchup is the game changer here. So. Extirpate what? Drown in the lock. Well, he is going to get that. So. Um. I'll just go ahead. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. I have to let it resolve in a split second. He's looking at my deck, he's like, he's like, what's this jank? Yep. Hopefully he just passes here. We, uh, we might get a counter spell out of his hand here. That's fine. We want the, uh, want the tempo and the ability to draw cards. Because if I get a, uh, Orcus Bowmasters here, uh, which we did not... Then we are be happy. So, and this is where we just start getting ahead. Because he can go here. Hmm. Yeah, we just. We just all out aggression. Yep. 
He's playing like a control build that's not controlling anything. He, he's really made a mistake by playing this card. Um, this card doesn't do enough for him. And someone should tell him that. Yep. <clears throat> Takes four. And now... So we're starting to get into range where uh, Bitter Blossom now is starting to hurt a lot. Uh, we'll go ahead and play this. <clears throat> By playing the second Bitter Blossom, we basically say we're going to be the more aggressive deck in the matchup. So um, the only way he's going to survive or win is basically to for us to lose to our own Bitter Blossom, and I don't think he'll ever get to that point. So. I'm gonna save this mastermind. So, because in his turn, I might have him draw a card for us to draw to. I'm cool if he blocks the token here. What I didn't want him to do is trade for the mastermind. I did that the first time to get ahead on tokens because I felt like the. Uh, I felt like the trade on the board was worth more um, than the card itself. So, um, which obviously, if you look at my board versus his board, I'm, I'm correct in that. Um, in that regard, so. So this is. This is just a hard thing because if I if I draw two cards down, uh, which ma a mastermind activation will do, um, and I get an Orcish Bow Masters here, like it it's a really game it's a game changer. So we'll we'll go ahead and do this. We'll play aggressively. I don't obviously it doesn't have a lot to do. Like, if this is an Orchestra Bowmasters, I play it, and then off this draw, you know, I just... Okay, that's that's quality in both lands. Maybe I should have fetched instead of that. But, so... <sighs> man. Wow, what are these draws? And the bad thing is I might have given him something good in the mix. So we'll go ahead and swing again. So we're going to have to close out the game here quick. Um, okay, he's just bouncing the one, right? He didn't cast the overload. Yeah, sure. So I need some kind of kill spell, some kind of interaction, Snapcaster Mage, um, because I need to kill this <laughs> somehow, some way, somehow, kill this. So he's just trying not to die. Um, he's trying to make me die to my um, Bitter Blossoms, basically.
All right, we're gonna draw again. Draw two cards and hopefully we get there. But now, now it's even better because Sprite, that's great. It's a good draw. Nice. Wonderful, I like it. Um, I could just bounce it, but we'll just sprite it, I think. It doesn't really do much for him. Yeah, we'll sprite. If he counter, hopefully he counters us. I'm totally cool with him countering as well. Uh, he's not going to counter now. <clears throat> Taking one life doesn't affect. Ooh. All right. I want to shuffle my library. I forgot I don't have any more basics in my life in my deck. So we'll do that. We'll bounce the the creature so we can swing out. Yes, great draw. Great draw. Nice, because then he takes one, two, three, four, five. He goes to six. We go there. We swarm. We win. The only way he would not win is if he's playing Cryptic Command, and he's clearly probably not playing Cryptic Command because we didn't see one all game or two games. So there's the mirror for you. When somebody's playing something um, close to the mirror, he's playing more of a rogue version. He's playing the spirit guy. Um, I'm sure he got a lot of information off of uh, looking at my deck and looking how it goes. Um, it's nice to play the mirror again. It's also a good... Um, playing Double Bitter Blossom is obviously the risky play there. And can you... He, he about did it. If he was playing more reactive things and less roguey, flash, like um, things that make things cost less... He would have got there. He, he definitely would have got there. Um, if he would have saw Orcus Bowmasters playing the additional Bitter Blossom, it's bad. It is immediately bad. It is it is awful, actually. So, um, but at the same token, if I hit the Bowmasters with a Mastermind out, he might as well scoop now. If he can't remove the Bowmasters immediately, he might as well do it because every time he draws a card, I ping him. Ping him, ping him, ping him. It is just... Yep. So, and and then I make a bigger dude and swing. Just The deck can't handle the card, and that's why I'm playing it because I'm planning on seeing a lot of decks that Bowmasters is good with. So, Well, we got there. That's good. Game one down. Sleepy was okay. It has a play style that we have to respect.